What's up Cougar fans? Welcome to another edition of CUC Coaches Weekly Women's Soccer Edition. Here with head coach, Coach Garza, how you doing? I am ecstatic. We're in the conference tournament. In the conference tournament. Congratulations about that. First time since 2018, if you don't count the spring season, uh, that was 2021. So a uh, big deal. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I think the team have, has really pushed to get here. Obviously, the bulk of the work that they've done all season got, a, got them there. Um, and it was always a goal for us to get there. Um, so now we turn... we. We've turned the page on one chapter, and we're opening a chapter that we haven't done in a while, so getting ready for it. And in order to open that chapter and write the pages the way that you want to do it, you're going to have to win a game in the conference tournament against a highly ranked uh, team. And that's something that uh, the program has not been able to do ever, 0-2-2 in the conference in the NAC conference tournament. So what do you have to do to kind of break that spell? And of course, you know we're talking years before you were here, um, but you really your first opportunity in the NAC conference tournament to swipe away a win. Yeah, going into these types of matchups, we just have to really highlight the the picture of the situation. Both teams have a common goal. One team will move on. One team won't. So they have just as much as pressure on uh, on them as us. So going into, I said the seeds don't matter because at the end of the day, that just determines home field advantage. And yeah, in essence, that's their reward for finishing higher at the conference. But like any given day, it's not about outplaying the other team for 90 minutes. It's just being better than them in a few moments, a few situations, and finding a, a way to win. So we're in the, the stage of the, the, the season, the postseason, is it's find a way to win. It doesn't have to be beautiful. It doesn't have to be attractive soccer. It's get get the find a way to get the result and then focus on the next one. And this is something we talked about a little bit last week, playing an opponent a second time in the season. Now we know for sure you're going to. Uh, what have you kind of seen from the last few games of your team that gives you the confidence that you're going to be able to, to you know play well and take a win? Yeah, I mean, just thinking about Dominican yesterday, uh, we lo uh, unfortunately lost, but if you actually look at the performance of the team, they were they go down early, they come back. They fought, they go down again, and they were fighting the whole second half. And, you know, when you're chasing a game, there's, uh, there's just unfortunate, uh, the ball bounces in their favor, the official misses a call, and... You know, that that's just part of it. But I felt from the beginning to end, they never dropped the tempo. So they were prepping themselves for conference play. They were, they, they've been, they're getting ready to be in these moments. So I think they're, they're, they're fully capable and ready. And uh, I think yesterday's game showed that. And on the flip side of that, if there was one thing that you could say you might need to clean up um, heading into the conference tournament, what would that be? That's a great question. So for us, I would say it's uh, winning the 50-50 battle. So in soccer, or any balls that are bouncing, any balls that no one has clear advantage of, we want to win that first one and then take control of the ball on the second one. Um, when we did that against Dominican yesterday, we started to progress the ball forward and you know get into the, the attacking half. Um, but if we lose that battle, traditionally the team that wins it will you know, take advantage of the game. And maybe the most important question of the day, do you have a costume picked out for this evening or? I am going to be a character for my daughter's um, costume. She is Princess Red from Descendants and right. I am the king in that. So I'll be wearing the the king of hearts type of costume. Well, we're going to need to see some pictures yes. when we come back next week. Coach, good luck the rest of the season, and we'll talk a little bit later on. Sounds good. For more information on the CUC women's soccer program or all CUC athletics, head to cucougars.com. Roll Cougs.